everyone out there in YouTube land and beyond. Let me ask you something. Are you a Michael Jackson defender or a victim allegation supporter? Do you believe that Michael Jackson was a child predator and that persons like Jimmy Safechuck and Wade Robson are telling the truth? Or do you believe the King of Pop is a victim of a shakedown even in death? Well, now's your chance to tell me directly. Next Friday on March 29th at 3 p.m., I'll be hosting my very first Zoom meeting where we're gonna get to discuss your points of views and you can tell me things like, what made you believe that Michael Jackson was actually guilty? Was it the Leaving Neverland documentary? Or what makes you still think he's innocent? We're gonna talk about that as well as things like the stages of grooming and whether or not you can recognize anything in Michael Jackson's behaviors. I'm a survivor of child sexual abuse myself and we're going to talk about things like why many victims of child sexual abuse don't talk about the abuse they suffered until well into their adulthood. I know for me, I resonated a lot with Wade and Jimmy's testimony. But how about you? Are any of you survivors? And how has that impacted whether you believe Michael Jackson was guilty or innocent? We're also going to look at and discuss some clips from the E! News 2005 reenactment of Michael Jackson's criminal trial, such as Wade Robson and Brett Barnes' testimonies, the testimony of former Neverland staffers, and also some interview clips of Michael Jackson himself, which could be interpreted as some serious red flags. But is it really appropriate for a 44-year-old man to share a bedroom with a child who is not related to him at all? That's a beautiful thing. That's, that's not a worrying thing? Why should it be worrying? Who's the criminal? Who's, who's Jack the Ripper in the room? or to the MJ defenders could be seen as Michael Jackson's inability to see the inappropriateness of his actions. Guys, I can't wait. It's gonna be my first time talking to any of you through a platform like Zoom, where we can talk virtually face to face, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. But in order to join the Zoom call, you must be a channel member. That's right, sign up today, and for just $1.99 a month, you can become an official Roxy, and join me on March 29th at 3 p.m. Once you've signed up, you can RSVP by emailing me at rockstew5media at gmail.com with the subject title Zoom Call for March 29th at 3 p.m. In the email, please state your username that you signed up for channel membership with so I can see whether you're on the membership list. And then I'll email you the link and password to join Friday's Zoom Call. Guys, you can become a member by clicking the join button below this video or going to www youtube.com slash rockstew5 slash join. The link is in the description of this video. But guys, don't be tardy in RSVPing because I can only accommodate 100 people in the Zoom meeting. So if you're not a member already, sign up and then RSVP me at rockstew5media at gmail.com. I'll also, closer to the time, be making a members-only post with a Zoom link and password on my channel. So members, you can look out for that too. And if you miss the Zoom meeting, not to worry, because I'll be recording and posting this meeting to my channel for both members and non-members to see just what went down on Friday between the MJ defenders and the victim supporters. Guys, I'm looking forward to Friday. Please join me in a healthy and and respectful debate between my very polarized Michael Jackson audience. I'll see you then. Laters.